so the B thing is working out. You know what? We're off bees right now. Okay, we're gonna get off bees and we're gonna go on to something else like, I don't know, flowers. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here. Today, checking out Horticular. I am reasonably confident of the pronunciation of that. Why are we checking out Horticular? Because the opening of the Steam page says I've been summoned by magical gnomes. And that's enough for me to go ahead and say, yeah, I'll check that out. I think we're doing gardening. I'm pretty sure gardening is involved here, and I'm all about gardening lately. I'm all up into gardening. This year is a, a gardening year for Dave back in House of Dave here, so I got peppers growing. I gotta go harvest that later, right after I play some horticular. Well, we're here, and it is indeed a desolate wasteland that has no plant life whatsoever, but we've got some mail. Greetings, Dave. We're excited to have finally have you arrive. Let's see if you found the inbox. I have. I'm fairly computer literate. Inbox is a fairly simple term. Letters are energy efficient ways for us to communicate. Well, not really. Actually, not really. I mean, let's let's take the concept of a letter there. So you gotta you gotta write the letter out. That's taking time right there. Faster to type, I say. And then you gotta go mail it. All right. And then there's a whole infrastructure in that. All right, the, the mail person, the mail carrier, has got to get in a gas-guzzling truck and go get the mail and then take it to the big depot where, like, they sort all... I'm holding you up. Let's do the garden thing. Okay, add three patches of grass with my spade. All righty. So if I do this, uh, task... I know I've got a task. I've got a task right now. Now, there was something about the R key, which doesn't seem to do much of anything at all right now. Aha, there we go. So click on the spade, add some grass. Yes, I, I know about my collected services. Let me, let me let me put this down here. Okay, so one, and it takes a few seconds to do it. Two, and three. All right, three patches of grass, no problem. Now what do you got for me? Oh, right click makes things go away. I like that. So the gnomes are going to give me a yarrow, and they're going to charge me some money to do it. I think a yarrow, that's like a squash, isn't it? I'm not so much with squash. I mean, I like zucchini, uh, courgettes for those of you who are in other countries, but I like zucchini not so much with like other squash. Mrs. Dave likes other squash. Um, what, what is that? Sorry, what exactly is it you need me to do here? I'm getting off on a tangent and I'm thinking about my peppers outside. All right, I got 25 gold, which I think I have to give up to the gnomes like momentarily here. What's happening in here? What have I got? This is what exactly? That's one of, oh, that's a yarrow. Okay. So that's going to cost me some time, and I assume that's some money there. Ah, this is what it costs to conjure, and how much... Oh, it gives me gold. You should have known that, Dave. It's in green. That means that's a good thing. It gives me gold. Okay, use those filters to quickly find an item. Okay, let's just go with uh, this, plants. Yep, yarrow, and then I want to put that down here. And that, again, it's going to take some time to grow, right? Uh, yeah, yarrow, yarrow, yarrow. Yarrow this on up. Apparently a yarrow was a flower. It sounds like a squash, right? It sounds like a squash. Pick up and move something. Okay, so pick that up and then put it over there. Okay, I've done that. And now we're just waiting for dawn. I could fast forward it to the next day, but can I do anything else while I'm here? Like, could I maybe make some more grass? Yeah, I want grass, please. Grass is good. Put that in there, and that in there, and that in there, and that in there. I'm not even sure I can afford this, but we're doing it anyway. And then do I have any more yarrows available to me? Yeah, let's let's yarrow this place up. Yarrow, 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 and yarrow. Nice little row of yarrows there. All right, now let's go forward to the next day there. Yep, the clock is ticking, and we get some money. All right, we get some money at, at dawn. Dawn brings new weather and a payout of freshly conjured gold. Okay, depends on my garden's items. Love bonus. Oh, hello. It's getting a little late night around here. And upkeep. I've got my money. Now what? i got a bunch of gnomes hovering around the place. It's making me a little unnerved. Hope the night treated you well. Yeah, well, yeah, we learned about the, the love quotient here in the garden, and I'm very excited about that, And you know, unless gnomes are involved. So my new job is just to bum around for a little bit until tomorrow when they're going to teach me about animals, but I just got a ton of stuff down here. So what could I be doing? I don't have anything new there. I don't seem to have anything new there. If I if I hit this, I've got a plantain lily. Okay. Foliage, shading, and shelter. Uh-huh. And then if I get out of that and I go to my, my dirt here, do I have any new dirt that I should be aware of? Yeah, I have dirt and a flower bed and then just regular grass. Okay. Cousin of soil that is considered dead since it lacks nutrients. Well, that's what compost is for there. 
Okay, that's why you compost things. You put some nutrients back into the soil. Potatoes are a beast on nutrients. Don't ever plant potatoes after potatoes. Flower bed seems like it does a little bit of everything. So let's put a couple of those down. How about we did one, two, and three of those. Okay, and then when that's done, I know I've got mail. We'll, we'll come back to mail. When we do that, let's do the plantain lilies. Oh, this is going to take me a sec. Okay, so plantain lily, lily, and lily. Okay, what do you want to tell me, magic gnomes? I might find lost treasure as I'm digging stuff up here. If it's money, I can keep it. But if it's an artifact, I got to give it over to them. Uncover treasure by digging patches of wasteland. Mostly find gold, but sometimes lost artifacts. Okay, sensible. So it's still pretty early. I've got a challenge. Wait, what was my challenge? Hang on, I've got a thing up here. Uh, one of these is is challenges, right? That's that's my that's, ah. There we go. Challenges. That's my tasks. Reclaim a held item with the action wheel. Get rid of all waste. Have a hundred tiles of grass. Okay, so just like things to do around here. Do some unsupervised gardening until tomorrow. That sounds like my every day. Uh, let's do some more grass right in here. And then which one of these was like the the flower bed? Yeah, I want more flower beds there. And then more grass right in there, just like that, okay. And then let's do some more of the, the plantain lily things. Now that's the yarrow. Plantain lily, give me some of these in here. One, and then, you know, the rest of them. See, this is why I can't be left unsupervised. Your your first mistake there was the word unsupervised. I've just gone, gone a little bit nuts. Oh, I don't have, I don't have the thing for this. I don't, I don't have that. I've got the income. I've got the layout. I kind of forget what the blue thing is, but whatever it is, I don't have enough of it. Well, let's just speed it on to the next morning, then I'll get some money out of all of that. Not a lot. There we go. I got a bunch of blue things out of that, so I'm, I got I to gotta put down the last plantain lily because um, it's just bugging me out that it's not even like that. There we go. I've done some unsupervised gardening. I assure you it was highly unsupervised. It's animal time. Animals require habitats to live in, and each species has its own requirements. Create a bumblebee habitat. Okay, details in my journal. They need some shading and lots of flowers. And we found some stuff under our secondary cookie jar. You guys are adorable and also terrifying at the same time. I got more yarrows. I'm very excited about that. And somewhere in here should be bumblebees, right? So what have I got? Bumblebees. I've learned bumblebees. Okay, create the habitat or creature habitation. habitation. Let's try that again. It's early in the morning. Creature habitation details. You need some sun, you need some rain, you need some flowers. Okay, cool. Flowery, shading, ma master to learn. We're not going to master anything. Let, let's be very clear about that. How do we go about... Do, what, wait, what is a council member? Hang on. This is an animal? Special keepers assigned to oversee a singular word. They work together in a council. Okay, so these are my gnomes, right? These aren't bees. Well, before we get on to bees, we should probably like have somewhere for the bees to live. Why can't I place it there? Maybe it needs a flower bed. A curious bumblebee has appeared. Um, I'd be curious, too, because I'd wonder what the heck I was doing over here. Uh, can I, like, zoom in on you? Come here. Come come here. Come here. Yes. Is this your new home? It is now, Chief. Uh, yeah, bumblebee seems pretty happy. I got an achievement for it, so I can't have bungled it too hard. Don't we need, like, a hive? I'm no bee expert. My father-in-law is. He has bees. I'm no... I should call him. I'm no bee expert. I could text him. Um, I'm no bee expert, but I feel you need more than one bee to effectively have bees. You know, I'll, I'll text him later. All right, build a bumblebee habitat. All right, I'll, I'll work on that. I'll, we'll we'll kind of cope in that direction. I'd rather figure out how we get the tulips down. What do you? What is it you think you need? Probably a flower bed, right? So where is this going to live? How about on the back end? over here don't don't blow all your magic or money or anything like that get out of that and then go to the tulips i think tulips are important i mean bees are gonna love that sort of thing well the single bee will yeah i don't i don't got no more blue stuff i'm, I'm pretty sure that's my magic okay build a bumblebee habitat using the journal details all right well go to my journal those are my tasks uh those are my creatures these are my contacts i get the bumblebee bumble thing Using journal details. Who's in my contacts? Oh, the keepers are, the gnomes. And what's going on over here? Council Cottage. What's your deal? 
It's a sanctuary for the Council of Keepers. So a gnome box is what you're telling me there. A gnome box. A box for the gnomes to live in. Is it that I haven't learned enough about the bee? Because I see 14% here, and that says to me not 100%. I don't think I've learned enough about bees to be able to do the bee shelter. How much sh Oh, wait, hang on. Have I done this? Can I do that? I probably can't do this now because I don't have the, the things, but apparently overlaps existing habitat. You want, you want to go over here? No, that also overlaps an existing habitat. Can I make both of those go away? I've, I've done it. I've, I've done the bees wrong and I'm very sad about this. Now that's the yarrow. Put the yarrow back. How do we, do I move the bee? No, that's still a yarrow. Okay, what do you want to tell me here? What's your problem? You've got a lovely little habitat. Have I really? I think I did it wrong. Curious animals will start showing up. Yeah, the bee was curious. And we said, welcome, bee. Welcome to my garden. Yeah, you guys definitely want me to pick up a bee. Is that the bee? No, that's still... All right, just move the yarrow out of the way. The yarrow is confusing me. Uh, where Where is the bee in all of this? I, I can't... I can't find my bee. I've learned frog, but I still haven't figured out where the bee is. And I've learned goldfish, too. He's in here somewhere, and apparently he's very happy with his new habitat that I may or may not have placed him in. So, the bee thing is working out. You know what? We're off bees right now, okay? We're gonna get off bees, and we're gonna go on to something else, like, I don't know, flowers. Well, I gotta tell you, if I'm a bee, I got plenty of flowers around here. I don't know how to make the red square go away. I think, I think the bumblebee might be stuck on something. He's probably not. I'm just misclicking on something, I'm sure, but I feel the bumblebee is a little bit stuck. How about we just... I don't know, make a lot of grass. Just make grass. I've got some money. Should I get another bee habitat? Is that something I should do? What if we did more tulips down here? So show me my, yeah, my flower bed. What if I did more tulips down here? Or at least however many I can do with the, with the blue magic that I've got remaining here. Uh, give me some more of these. Yeah, more tulips, please. So these are going to go all the way along the edge here, eventually. Let's try again with the whole bee habitation thing. So I would like... Actually, I should get frogs. Frogs are pretty good, right? Everyone likes a good frog. And yeah, I don't have any water, though. And I don't believe I have any ability to make any water. Goldfish definitely need water. Like, I am pretty firm on that one. I'm no fishologist. But I know goldfish live in the water. Let's go for bees again. Okay, let's see if we can get some more bees living here. So if I did like a bee habitat right here, okay? And then eventually maybe a bee comes by and says, uh, that's pretty cool, I could live there. Also, my red square went away, so I'm really, really happy about that. Now I'm trying to collect 700 gold at one time, like having the number 700 up here. Is that what you're looking for? Oh, wait, I've got 1.97 on my love meter here. That's better than I've ever done. I think my bee left. I don't think my bee wanted to live here anymore. It is raining, and they said they don't, they're don't. they not going to be outside in the rain, so maybe he's just hiding somewhere under a flower. I've been told to rename a bee, but I don't, I don't think I've got a bee to rename. I could name him something now, but that would be silly because he's not here. Well, I've completed five days. That part was the easy part. Now that I've got some gold, you can show you the golden tidbit. You've been eyeing the surrounding wastes. Oh, not really. I've been kind of hyper-focused on tulips. We can expand your garden for some of your gold. Try expanding into the nearby plot. Okay, not my plan today, but maybe one of them has water? That'd be that'd be pretty neat. This one does, a little bit. So what's that gonna cost me? Uh, 150 upkeep and 1,000 magic-y stuff, but I've got 1.21. Uh, if I expand this, okay, I've got that. I've got that now. Now is this, that's not water. That's like a rock, Dave. Yeah, no need to be snarky about it, magic gnomes. Ooh, you've expanded into a rocky patch. Yeah, I thought it was water. Okay, it looked like water from the sky. Your spade may not be capable of digging into the bedrock, except the rockiness for now. That's oh, very zen of you. You managed to unearth some, oh, some rock. Okay, give us a sample and we'll provide its surface type so you can add rockiness wherever you want. I don't really want to add rockiness. I want to add frogs. All right, they're throwing me a bunch of candy here to expand again. I, I think that might be a little bit optimistic. This, that's got to be water. Okay, this has got to be water right here. That looks like water. I don't think I can afford to do this. No, I, I don't have nearly enough gold. 
I need a lot more gold. You didn't you didn't give me enough gold, magic gnomes. They did give me the capability of putting up a fence though. That's kind of cool. Keep the neighbors out. Yeah, put a just put that up for no real reason. Just put that up like that. That looks neat. Uh, what kind of stuff have I got left up here? I got a little bit. Let's put down Here's what I want to do. I want to wrap these tulips around like I've got the other one. It's very important that everything be even. There, you see how much better that looks? You're all welcome. It's much more even now. I should put a fence along this side. No, no, don't overthink it, Dave. You're doing fine. Uh, no sign of the bee yet. No, it's still raining. It's been raining for like three days. I'm pretty sure Faunus here is a sloth of some sort. Maybe a salamander? I'm not 100% on him, but apparently he's into upgrades. Come buy an upgrade from me when you have time. Upgrades permanently increase your gardening efficiency. Enough available animal energy. Yeah, I, I've only got the one B, man, and I'm not really sure where he is. I think he buggered off. Upgrades allocate energy, decreasing the available amount. Okay, so upgrades, sure. Where, where do we go about... Uh, what are you? What freak of nature are you? I think you're a ninja. No, you're a merchant. Okay, Mercury the merchant. How do we how do we access you? I've got a challenge. What what aura? What? Recently come to my attention. Keepers go way back. You've already gotten started. Nothing spectacular. Yeah, welcome to my world. Aquatics are your specialty. You've attached pond water. Great. I want to get into the frog game. There we go. Pond. Okay. How about we did a pond like here, 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 here. And then see what happens when we do all of that. Can I get into the frog game now? I've got some shading over here. These plantains seem nice and shady. I've got water. Can I get into goldfish? I need a lot of water, some shading, a little bit of foliage, and absolutely no frogs. Well, that makes sense. I mean, the frog goldfish war has been going on for thousands of years. They're natural enemies. I get why you wouldn't want any frogs around here. Uh, what about the frogs? You guys are fine if you've got goldfish. Uh, you're not fine if you've got something I haven't discovered yet. Okay, um, we'll, we'll see. I Do the goldfish just turn up? Yeah, the goldfish just turn up. How did you get here? You don't have legs. You can't exist outside the water. How do I get you? No, that that's the tulips, Dave. How do I... I know it's not traversable. You're a fish. You can't possibly traverse this. You are one dumb goldfish. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do I need to maybe make the pond go over here? Okay, I got it. I gotta get rid of a bunch of stuff here. Uh, re reclaim that, all right? We're, we're having that back, all right? And then that was a challenge, too. And then reclaim this, and then reclaim this. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm trying to dig a path to the goldfish, who was dumb enough to come in here without legs or the ability to breathe air. Okay, is this gonna work out for you, kid? When we build this little last patch pond here? You're outside the garden. No, you're not outside the garden. I assure you, you are not. You're in the water which goes into my garden. I had to uproot some tulips for that. You know, the bee is going to be really angry about that. I got some gold for reclaiming the object. I'm just going to speed it through. Oh my god, it's actually a sunny day around here. Maybe the bee will come back. I, I feel the goldfish is just stuck. I'm gonna leave that alone and refocus on frogs. Oh, hang on, there, there's a guest. Um, what's your deal? Danger! Is it the goldfish? Dave's garden is decaying unnaturally fast. Well, I'm, I'm not very good. It's really my first couple of years experimenting with gardening, and I got some corn growing. I don't think it's actually gonna ripen. The raccoons will probably get it first, but I do have some corn growing. Calm down, don't panic. That's, that's fine. I, I'm not prone to panicking. That's, that's not true. Okay, I got a bunch of money. Oh, I see the decay. Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. Yeah, no, it's a plantain lily. How do we... Oh, yeah, there we go. Reclaim, place, no, reset. I don't want to do any of that. I want to... I know there's critical things. I'm, I'm kind of working on it. I just don't immediately remember how to do the thing. Oh, here we go. Magic. Uh, that, that's got to be a thing, right? Yeah, click on that and then restore that. Okay, boom. Where's the others? Okay, one over here and restore. And what else do you think is completely destroyed around here? One critical item. Which one? Oh, way in here. Okay. Restore that. Got it. Okay. Now, where is the... Where is this guest? Oh, what are you? Hang on, hang on. What are you? You're a dragonfly. 
Do I have things that you like? Do I do I know anything about you? I probably don't. So how do I how do I deal with the guest issue? Uh, no, I don't want to restore that. I just want to get you cancel everything. Uh, I don't want to uproot anything. I want to figure out how how do I get to my guest? It's not the dragonfly, is it? Because I don't speak dragonfly. Oh, my bee is back. Oh, my bee is here. And he's got two hearts worth. He's going to go visit the goldfish. And he's like, I don't live in the water. I'm a bee. I'm going to leave now. Oh, it's up here. Okay, so here's my merchant right here. My ninja. I could get different tulips. Red velvet. That sounds good. Species of yarrow with a striking red color. Oh, known to attract butterflies. Leaf litter. Right, so that's going to be good for insects. Dragonfly details. Oh, I've got a dragonfly. I don't have the money to afford this, but I've got a dragonfly. Moonshine? I'm going to get moonshine. Lemon yellow flowers. Easily contained. Does not reseed or spread. Well, how does it exist then? Reseeding or spreading. That's like literally how plants work. Now my other guy here, the salamander. You could sell me some upgrades. Digger 1. And it'll dig 20% faster. Okay. And then reuser. Reclaim 30% of the item value. Okay, not bad. And treasure hunter. Find three times more treasure. And then landscaper. Enchant your garden by redirecting animal energy into ambient love field. Wow. I'm going to try that one on Mrs. Dave later. Do I have... I still don't have enough gold. 4.5. This one's kind of cheap. 1k there. But I don't have the other thing. Nope, still can't do it. Not adjacent. No, this is gonna it's gonna be a little bit here. All right, well, just get back to work then. Maybe I can get on the dragonfly game next day, and I'm putting some more plantain lilies down because I think it just sort of balances out the whole garden here. Expand my garden. I'm not gonna be able to do that anytime in the near future. Um, can I do anything with? Oh, I know something about dragonflies. I think I just squashed it. I'm pretty sure I just killed the dragonfly, but I've learned important information probably about dragonfly anatomy at this point. And apparently I've learned it's tall. I don't think it's tall. I think it probably wants tall surroundings or something, but yeah, I, I'm i going to guarantee you I just squashed that dragonfly and I learned 34% of dragonfly because of it. I can put down another habitat for it though. What if we put that down? No, this is bumblebee. I don't want bumblebee. I've got a bee. I've covered the bee game here. This guy's working his bumblebee... Well, I was going to say tail, but I suppose stinger. Do bumblebees sting? Are those the ones that don't sting? I never remember. There's one of them that doesn't. Oh, what do we got now? We got another curious creature. Is that the little guy down here, or is that just a dot? Um, I don't know. Is there somebody... Somebody over here? Where, where's the thing? What are you? Hang on. No, no, no. What are you? You look like a thing. You're another bee. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can do bee habitation here. So yeah, I want I want a bumblebee habitat. I don't know, like like right over here-ish? I think I just made dragonfly instead. Right. Um well, you wanted tall things. I'm not into tall things right now. I'm mostly focused on plantains. Oh, I did something. What did I do? You have completed the following challenge. Gather 100 gold from archaeology. Oh. Okay, I must have just dug stuff up. No, I was mostly trying to get more bees in here, because, you know, bees are pretty good. People like bees. So I'm just putting some grass down here, and then I think I'll put down uh, the flower bed thing. So flower beds, how about right in here, and then right in here. Well, now it's raining. All my bees are going to go away. All right, well, put, put some flowers down anyway. Uh, I should have probably... You know what? I should probably buy the, the new flowers there. Just to have the place look a little different. Red velvet. Yeah, I want to get this. I want to get this. Where'd my red velvet go? Can I just buy that? I thought I, I thought I just bought that. Is that somewhere else? You, you sure I don't have red velvet? Because I'm pretty sure I just bought that. Oh, never mind. I found it. It was filed under the Yarrows. All right, so there's a whole separate tab for Yarrow over here. I can do this. Okay, good. I was looking forward to this. I wanted to do my red thing here, my red velvet. I've run out of money to do it. Um, the corrupted have shown up overnight. There's a wave of them coming. What what do I what do I need to do about this? Use magic and ingenuity. Okay, I can use one of those two things. The other word has never come up in in my life. So, 
you guys are over here, right? So go to magic. Like what theoretically am I doing here? Banishing people. Okay. Can I banish that? No, I got to kind of wait for this to pop up. Yeah, there they are. There they are. Okay. Um, banish you. Go away. And go away. And I don't know. Go go away some more. Go go everybody go away. I don't I don't think I'm banishing things. There we go. I banish things. Is there another one in here? Banish you too. No, keep banishing until they are in fact banished. Banish? Banish? Have we done that? Okay, we've done the thing. Okay, great. There's there's horrible enemies coming. Um, can we restore you and then go through to the next day so I can actually see what I'm doing? Also, what is this? Corruption nectar. Uh, sure, that sounds yummy. Let's put that right here so I know where it is at all times. And put more of my red velvet down, because I'm very, very excited about the red velvet thing. Now, that's as much as I can get down. Okay, I've beaten back the corruption. I put a couple more red velvets down. Everything kind of looks broadly terrible. This is this is obviously awful. Restore that, and restore that, and restore all of these things. This is... I, I'm pretty sure my fish is dead. I haven't, I haven't seen or heard of the fish in ages. He was kind of a dumb fish. He tried to get here via land, which is... The exact opposite of how a fish should get here. And that's probably an excellent place to call it on this little look at Horticular. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you thought of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel and just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We're learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire, and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.